Tiller Barden, 500. It doesn't mean it's 500 pounds. Hello and welcome to Whiskey Whims with me, Stuart. Today we're going to be looking at Tiller Barden 500. A non-age stated whisky bottled at 43% ABV and it's finished in sherry. The whisky itself has been finished in the Pedro Jimenez 500 litre cask for a year. So the 500 on the bottle is representative of the 500 litre casks. They also have a 225 um, which I believe is Sauterne so that relates to that. Uh, cask size and then there's also Burgundy which I believe is 228 uh, which also relates to the cask size. So this um, distillery Tillabarden is owned by a French company I believe they're French, their name sounds French, uh, Picard Vin and Spirito or Spirito, no Picard Vins Vins and Spirit. anyway you can Google them. They're a French company, I believe, and um, they uh, bought over the Tullabarden distillery in 2013. I don't know if this whiskey has been, uh, as I had any added colouring in it. The last time I spoke to an ambassador of Tullabarden, they said their whiskey did not contain any added colouring, but whether that was a lie or not, I, I can't uh, confirm it. It doesn't say in the bottle, so we'll assume it's got added colouring. Also at 43% ABV, uh, I've had this one for a while, it's probably uh, chill filtered as well. Uh, it doesn't seem to uh, cloud up or anything like that. So, the whiskey itself will get down to the nose and palate. So this whiskey you can pick up for around 35 to 40 pound. And it's, it's a core range whiskey. The nose... There's brown sugar uh, straight off. There's a spicy prickle um, when when nosing this. Maybe um, evidence of the young age. There's raspberries, possibly strawberries. It's almost hard to decipher the two. Lemon meringue, honey. Vanilla, and I'm also getting something I don't believe I've experienced before in any other whiskies, or I've never picked it up before. But it's muesli with uh, dried fruits, um, possibly raisins, muesli with raisins. I've maybe come across something similar to it um, in the sense of grist. I think it's grist uh, or milled, sorry, milled barley. Uh, when they when it goes through the mill, uh, there's that kind of fragrance. That that's possibly similar to muesli. It's got that kind of powdery, um, oaty maltiness about it. Grist. I don't know what grist is. What's grist? Is that not the fat on meat? It's definitely not grist. It's uh, milled barley. So muesli is what I'm getting. A nice nose. Pleasant. Uh, the palate. Strawberry jam. Lovely. Um, the strawberry jam. There's possibly, yeah, there's definitely an oak um, spiciness to this whiskey. It's quite bitter as well, uh, rather drying in the mouth. Um, a wafer flavour, so the wafer that you get in something like Kit Kat, it's that, it's not the chocolate, not, nothing to do with the chocolate, it's just wafer, uh, like a kind of thin, crunchy wafer flavour. Yeah, more of that strawberry jam coming through, it's really nice. Some herbalness to the whiskey as well, possibly imposing on the uh, floral side of things. Yeah, it's, it's enjoyable, um, 
pleasant the finish I'd say the finish is medium in length once again that oak bitterness is there it's drying the mouth this is um, a very drying whiskey something spicy pepper maybe white pepper and I think that's what kind of ties it all together that's that's the um, almost the finale of this whiskey is a white pepper spiciness An enjoyable whiskey. One alcohol unit equals three CL. So I just reading the bottle there. The notes on the bottle. This came in a box. As, uh, however, I I don't really keep a lot of my whiskies in the box, um, especially ones that I keep in my my whiskey barrel. They're all bottles uh, just to save space. So on the ball, we've got an intensely dark, rich whiskey. It is rich to an extent. With hints of toffee and apples, I never got any toffee or, or apples. With an edge of cereal notes, I'd say that's my muesli coming through. On the on the on the, on the palate, vanilla and toffee. Uh, I think I got vanilla. Uh, I don't believe I got any toffee. Abound with dates and spice. So raisins, uh, spiciness. Yeah, I'd agree with that. For me, 35, 40 pound uh, whiskey win. This is a Great whiskey, in my eyes, for the price. It's a nice single malt. It's not trying to say or pull the wool over your eyes. It's not trying to say it's something else. It's uh, it's what it is. It's a it's a base standard core range whiskey that would get that should get people into Tullibardin uh, Distillery because recently they have been coming out with some good whiskies, and I think the core range is uh, evident of uh, what they're kind of producing. So this is a nice whiskey and I definitely recommend it. It's lower than what I'd usually prefer, 46%, it's 43%. 46% uh, is kind of my, my, my mark now. I don't reckon I'll get another bottle uh, because I've had this whiskey. And it is, uh, a big, for me it's a beginner's whiskey, it's an introductory whiskey. It's an easy drinking whiskey so it would be good just to have a, a kind of go-to whiskey. So I could just go and if, if I was needing a whiskey and wasn't sure what to uh, have, I'd have this just to go to. But I don't think, I think I want to make space for something else. So it's a good whiskey, it's a whiskey win, I would recommend it, but I don't think I'll be buying it again. So thanks for watching, I've been Stuart, this has been Whiskey Whims, I'll see you later.